In this video, I'm going to show you how to limit quantity to avoid problems. As you can see right here, I'm able to do unlimited quantity. Basically, if I want 100, I'm going to answer 100. That's a mistake you would like to avoid. Let's go back to our Shopify homepage. Let's choose our products. Let's choose the product that we are looking for. Now, to actually limit this, we are going to have to put in a stock. That's one of the ways to actually do this, is that when you are creating your item, you would love to put in a stock that will tell you how many quantity you have. Therefore, one person can just own your quantity. Now, as you can see, here is my product. Gonna click add product, for example. And here I'll be able to add the inventory, the barcode, the key MC, how much available there is, the shipping and all of those information. But to actually prevent a limit quantity that already exists, as I said, I'm going to go to my products inventory and then find the section titled update quantity. As you can see, here is the available quantity, for example, I'm going to put in 10. I can even edit this variance. Let me go back. More actions, create transfer, update quantity, as I said. So 10 here. And let's save this. Now, if we go back to our website, we will be able to put in a number higher than 10. But our purchase, let's go and let's click buy now. For example, you see it doesn't allow us. So if we say we do two, it does allow us. As you can see here too, it does allow us, as I said. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.